Alright guys, how's it going? My name is Hex. Um, welcome back to part 10, I believe, of Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Randomizer. Um, I don't, I never say that in a specific order, so if I messed it up, whatever. Um, in the last part, we uh, met up with Team Magma and Team Aqua, uh, and took on Team Magma out, out at, up at Mount Chimney. And we beat Maxi relatively easily, because our team is looking boss. So uh, I think this guy gives me something. Wow, what are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business is that of your... Oh, I guess he battles me. Well, let's speed that up then. So yeah. Quick attack. And we're actually... Whoa. Fine with me. Why don't I name this thing Zeke? <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I just have no idea. Magnitude 7. Holy crap. You're dead. I, so I still need to look up uh, the gym leader in this area, or the, the uh, Lava Ridge town. I need to look up its uh, stats, her stats. So I'm going to avoid these trainers because I'm already pretty overleveled. Here's a victory though. Uh, I guess I'll kill it for the experience. Holy shit. This thing must be bulky as fucking hell. There is a level. For Sly and God. so actually I've never beaten the game Emerald. I've beaten Ruby and I think I might have beaten Sapphire as well. But um, so when we get to the whole legendary part of the game, uh, I, I'm not, not gonna know what's what to do. Blah, blah, blah. Um, the furthest I've gotten is I think a uh, Selfco, Selfco, where you get a. Uh... No, I've gotten to the the flying type gym. I think I've beaten her before. Um, and in that, when I was playing through that, it was a randomizer and I was like on my own. Uh, I wasn't recording it for anything. So, uh, that's as far as I've gotten. So, uh, when we get there, that will be cool, I guess. So, Route 12, I believe, is the same, whoops, is the same route. I wanted to go to the Pokemon Center, not the, uh, I believe one of these ladies gives me the... Egg for a why not? Whoops. What is, am I? Hold on. Is it? Is it this lady right here? Or is it you? Hmm. Well, I'm a trainer. Yes. Um. Well, let's go deposit someone. I doubt I'll use a. a uh, actually, I don't even want it. Honestly. But I think these ladies might give me something. We draw as much hot water as we need, and yet the hot springs never run dry. Isn't it magical? These hot springs appear near active volcanoes. Veins of water under the ground are heated by magma to well up as hot springs. Cool story, bro. They're claiming that these hot springs are good for calming nervous tension, relieving aching muscles, solving romantic problems, and attracting money. Well, I need a hot springs. Holy hell. If people put Pokemon in the hot springs, it might be seriously strange. Why... It might be in an electric bath, or a bubble bath, bubble bath, or even a lava, lava, lava bath. Well, in that case, <laughs> let's let everyone into the freaking pool. So I believe that there's a rival battle, and I think I already healed up, right? Yep. Um, just talking about Flannery. I don't even fucking care. I thought there was a rival battle when you come into one of these rooms. Maybe it's when you come out of the... Maybe it's when you come out of the gym after beating her. Oh, so he just tells me how they got the egg. Alright, well I'm gonna look up Flannery's, uh, Flannery's Pokemon right, real quick and uh, I'll be right back to figure out whether or not we're going to Battle her now or go train up, so I'll be right back. Okay, well, she leads with a Numel, which is level 24, and her highest is a Torkoal, which is level 29. So, um, I'm gonna go check Relicanth's moveset. And, um, I'm thinking that we might just go into a gym and train on her, um, level 21, sorry. We might just train on her, uh, yeah, Water Rock type. Um, it has a really high attack, which is 
Well, I guess defense is its highest, but physical attack. Um, I might. Uh, what about Corfish? It has shitty stats. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not. Gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna train up Corfish. Um, I'm gonna. Hold on. Place. What was his attack stat? His attack stat was 40, and his defense is 59. Well, that's not gonna, that's not gonna come in much handy because most fire is, um, you know, I'm gonna use him because he quad resists overheat, I think. I think rock resists overheat, so, um, I'm hoping that it does. And we might, we might use Cloyster in the future because Cloyster is a good Pokemon, but, uh, as for now, uh, no. So I'm gonna go train up. Let's just go to her gym. Um, so let's. We might as well put Relicanth or Fossil in front, because Excal should have no problems. Um, because I'm gonna be using it on a level 24 and a level 26. Um, I'm talking about Excal. So um, he's already level 25. <clears throat> so I'm not too worried about that. And thank God the gym isn't all glitched up. Last time, whoops! Last time that I uh, took on this gym, I couldn't see anything. But this time I can. So and we'll use water again, which killed it with a crit. And I might, I might go train a, a fossil out in the wild before taking on Flannery, anyways, because we're gonna have to leave the gym to uh, train up. So, might as well, you know, go train while I have the chance. And I'm trying to find all the trainers right now. Um, whoops. God damn it. It's a water type, so... Fuck it. I'm just going to Hardy Tech. And use fucking thief or something. I don't know. Oh, what the fuck! I used. To... Fucking revenge, bitch! Die! God damn! Cat, cat clowns are so annoying, man. Seriously, they just should all die. Okay, there's a trainer here. So we need like Aqua Jet or Waterfall for this thing. There's a trainer here. Water again. So again. That might come in handy. Let's get rid of Harden. And learn Yawn. We might use that on her or something. Okay, there's a trainer here. Slugma. Let's see how much a water gun does a little less than half. Or maybe I I don't know. I don't it looked like a little less, like a little tiny bit. And I can normally tell, but apparently not today. There's a trainer. Metatite. Um. Derp. God, these these things are annoying too. I'm actually relatively strong against her uh, Pokemon because I have a uh, Carl. I have Excal for the two with ground typing, and I also have um. Relicanth, Fossil. I think Rock is physical. So, let's try Rock Tomb. Die. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of. God, I'm going through these super potions super fast. 
<laughs> I'm gonna use this burn here. Oh, I guess I'll go heal up. No, I just did. What the? Get back in there. <clears throat> oh. Go forward. I think it's this one. Then again, what do I know? Well, there's Flannery. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna go... I'm gonna go train up, um, probably to level like 27 or something, out in the wild. And, uh, I will be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back, and, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna be leading up with Excal. Fossil is level 26 now, uh, hasn't learned any new moves, um, you saw him learn Yawn, so, um, I'm hoping I can do good. I think I'm gonna be using Rock Tomb against her, uh, Torkoal and, um, Slugma, and I will be using Excal against her Numel and Camerupt, um, so, I decided to stop training because, um, I've been watching, well, they're watching, watching a lot of Hardy Tech Yo-Yo's videos, and he always talks about how um, it's not fun if you don't take a risk. So I decided I'd take a risk with uh, fighting a Torkoal with a level 26 Relicanth, um, and her her Torkoal is level 29. So um, a magnitude six is gonna do nothing, or at least it shouldn't do much. Um, little less or little more than 10 damage and that revenge should just murder it and then she should go into slugma so i already have this entire thing planned out uh, the only thing is that i'm hoping relicanth uh, relicanth has a higher defense than it does a um, than it does an attack stat so um that's the only downside to relicanth so but its attack is higher than its special attack which is why i'm using rock tomb because i'm pretty sure that rock tomb is physical and that wasn't a crit holy crap well camera up I will switch back into Excal um, which is a level higher than it I shouldn't have leveled up Excal I was using Excal um, I got him a level higher because <clears throat> I was trying to train Relicanth and when a Relicanth goes up against a Relicanth because I'm pretty sure that this uh, game is based on oh I'm hoping that doesn't do too much Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's not good. When the, the, I'm pretty sure the game randomizes based on area. Oh, crap. So I need to heal up. Um, it randomizes based on area. So every area I'm in has, like, maybe 15 different Pokemon that could be in the area. Hyper Potion. So, um, I kept running into Relicanths. And they got really annoying because it takes forever to beat a Relicanth with a Relicanth. And uh, this Revenge should do just as much as last time. And then Karate Chop. Oh. Well, let's just get her Hyper Potions out of the way real fast. Um, I didn't even think about that. Now we can use Revenge. Sunny day. So I don't know if Revenge is going to kill it now. Nope. Um, sunlight. Crap, can we stall this thing? Nope. Fuck it. Because that... I guess I'm going to be using a rock type. But it will highly increase the uh, power of her Torkoal's overheat. Which is not good. Should we? Fuck it. Um, let's go into Fossil and see how this ends up going. So her Torkoal actually has a white herb, which I'm not sure if that takes away status changes or, um, like, uh, what do you call it? Like par paralysis and stuff? Let's use Yawn. That'll be useful. Torkoal used Body Slam, which is not very effective. And, uh, that's good, because now her Torkoal should go to sleep, and I should hopefully kill it. Unless the white herb wakes it up. Which I honestly have no clue. And actually, I think that Relicanth is actually really fast. Oh, no! 
Man. What the hell? Fossil fell in love. Shit. So her Torkoal's asleep, but I don't really want to risk... Um, I'm going to go back into Excal. I don't want to risk not killing it while it's asleep. Because, you know... You don't really want to risk your Lilacanth. Your fossils. Sunlight faded. I'm just going to use Karate Chop. See how much that does. Not much. I might just see how much a Seismic Toss does in comparison. Because Seismic Toss will do 28 damage, I'm pretty sure. Which is a lot, apparently. So, unless she heals up, we just won, apparently. So, yeah. Um, Flannery, Flannery was not that hard. Um, sucks I had to use Excal again, but... Uh, fossils, fossils, Rock Tomb was just terrible, so... I've tried too hard to be someone I'm not. I have to do things my natural way. If I don't, my Pokemon will be confused. Thanks for teaching me that. For that, you deserve this. 2,900 Poke Dollars. And you get the Heat Badge. So, um, that was pretty easy, actually. Um, I should have done it a different way. <clears throat> but then again, I have never, like on my own, I've never recorded a Nuzlocke, but I've never actually beaten a Nuzlocke. Um, when I did it myself. I've tried to Nuzlocke this game, which I never technically failed, I just kind of quit. And uh, Black 2, which I failed terribly, because um, when I had to go up against Berg, this is where I, this She gives me the goggles or whatever. <clears throat> no, I believe I raised some... I guess it would be okay for you to have this. So she gives me the Go Goggles, which means I, I can go into the uh, desert area. Yeah. She tells me I should challenge my dad, which I will do, and then again, uh, Excal will come in handy once once more, um, and Relicanth can also um, act as a wall for me. And let's go to the Mart. Let's buy some more potions. Um, not too many. I'll buy 15 again. Um, because I don't want to have a whole bunch left over for when... Like later in the game. What is it? What do you give me? Oh. Yeah, I know. Getting back to Lava Ridge is a pain in the ass. Um, actually, I forgot I can sell my nugget. I went and got that nugget that's up on the side. Whoops. Sell. Um, so the nugget is in here somewhere. Nugget. Sell. Now I have money again. And we can just sprint back to Marvel. And yeah, so um, I'm gonna I wanna go check my dad's stats, Norman's stats, and uh, I'm gonna be right back. All right, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna go challenge him now, not in this video, but I'm gonna actually no 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 back. I can go to the desert area, so let's do that. <clears throat> ah, excuse me, let's do that for the rest of this video. Um, I can come here now. He's in front. Excal probably. Yeah, we don't want him to be up in front. So, the only bad thing about the randomizer again is that uh we don't always get random we we always get random pokemon. So, the first thing we can get here is um uh oh, man, wheezing. Um because I really wanted to trap inch. <laughs> um but obviously it's randomized, so I'm not going to get a trap inch. I guess let's just speed this up. Rock smash. That did nothing. What? What the hell, Weezing? You bastard! What the fuck? Well, now I guess it's Stardust. I don't fucking care about your Stardust. Man, get another Weezing. Get the fuck out of here. Man, Sly. Sly had potential. And. S Somebody even commented and said, never let Sly die. What the fuck is that? That's not even... That's not even cool, man. Whatever, I guess. There's better Pokemon out there. Um. Whoa. Move. Sly, move. Um. We're already starting our collection. <laughs> um, so now what is the question? Um, 
Um, what, what, who do we have in our... So we have a fire type, a fighting type, a ground psychic, or rock psychic. One of the two. A rock water, and a flying bug type. So what are we weak against? Do we have anything for psychic types? Um, I don't think so, so... Let's look at stabilized stats. He's kind of low, but... His attack... So he'll be good if we can get Shadow Claw. And there is a Psychic type gym. But I, do I want to risk him dying between now and then? And I already have a Water Rock type. Why didn't I just bring Kabuto? Because he sucks. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just bring Teddy Ursa with me. I don't know if I'll use it though. Because um, I, I kind of want to save everyone else for... A, uh, a bad day. Oh, I'm scared of slacking because it has counter, though. So, um, I'm gonna go check and see what level uh, Teddy Ursa evolves at. Alright, so Ursa Ring actually evolves at level, or Teddy Ursa, evolves at level 30. So, Ted... Ursa Ring is actually a good Pokemon. And I'll be able to use it. So, between now and then... Uh, I'm gonna try to train up. Where the hell can I train at? Because here, like right here, Pokemon are like level 12. So I guess I can go get the EXP share. Alright, well, next time, I guess I'll end it here. Um, next time, we will be all set and ready to take on Norman and the normal type of gym. I, I don't think he's gonna be too hard. I'm just scared because uh, he has counter, so um, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might put him to sleep. He has a citrus berry, um, which raises his health when it goes under half. I think it brings it back up. So uh, get rid of that and hopefully kill it while it's asleep again, just like the Torkoal. So that's my plan. Hopefully it works out, and I should have an Ursa Ring. I will train Teddy Ursa to level 30, because his strongest is 31, so I don't give any fucks at all. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like, rating, a favorite, some comments, you know, all that good stuff. I always appreciate those, and, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.